So guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm in the driver's seat. <coughs> um, you might have noticed that Louise isn't with me. That's because I've traded her in, gonna go and get Little Miss new boobs, but um, yeah, didn't want her anymore. No, only joking. She's just at work. Um, I'm a little bit rambling because I've not driven the van before by myself, so I don't know if you can tell in my voice, I'm a little bit nervous, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but it's Friday, yeah, Friday, Sunday, Monday, it's Friday, yeah. So yeah, um, we're going away, Lou's at work, and we need to go and pick her up, so fingers crossed we get there, okay. Oh, it's so rambling, so nervous. You're gonna see my concentration face now. Cause like Louise says, I'm actually gonna have to move the seat a little bit, you know? I'm gonna pull over. Yeah, let's go, let's go. It might be better driving um, without Lou in the van anyway. Because she's all like, oh, oh, oh. So, when I drive, that is. That's probably better. We will see, I've gotta go through the village which can be quite tight. And I have to remember that I'm long. Louise always says, I'm long, I'm long, I'm long. This is not gonna be the best footage for you guys. <laughs> Proper rambling, I'm so sorry. So much concentration. Hopefully, the cars aren't too bad, but be so tight around here it's ridiculous cars all parked all over the place made it through bonus oh i'm gonna be quite sweaty yeah you go in front of me i ain't got first again cars just piled up everywhere Nobody ever like pays any attention. Oh, lovely! Thank you very much. Long, long, long. I'm long. Thank you. There's so many things to remember when you're driving, isn't there? And I'm used to driving like a little Adam, which you can fit two of them in this van. So it's like, oh. Long, I'm heavy, I'm weighted on the right hand side. Three key things to remember. apologize because I was so bloody nervous when I started driving so again welcome back to our channel a little less nervous at the moment um, but yeah I'm sure Louise is gonna take over because she doesn't like my driving and well we just seen how that went anyway so but yeah we're going away yay we're going to a campsite um, I think in Suffolk way actually we're gonna go and meet a couple of guys there well a guy and a girl and a lovely little maple but AJ, hey AJ, gonna get a girlfriend, yay! 
But anyway, guys, we'll see you on the flip side. Boom. Whew. I'm back in the pilot seat where I belong. Uh, so we're just at the garage. Uh, what's the betting Emily comes back with snacks? What's the betting she's putting petrol in? It's all right, it's diesel. Uh, so I don't know what she's told you already or what the footage is, but um, basically we're on our way to Suffolk. She's probably said we're going to Surrey or something, but no, we're off to Suffolk, just above Ipswich is where we're going. Nice little weekend away. Don't know if you can hear that, but that's Emily getting every drip of diesel out of the, uh, the nozzle. Was you? You haven't bought any snacks because I put it in a video once, haven't you? No. <laughs> you have. No, because I got snacks. For <laughs> good Do you need enough? Uh, not yet, no. How do you know which way we're going? Because well, I know the way. No, you don't. Well, I know roughly where we're going, so I know which roads I've got to get on. Did you look then? No, I just know where it is on the map, and I know that I need to go up the M2 on the 25, and then on probably the A12, I would guess. Three roads. <laughs> That's all it is. Three roads. And then when we get in the rough area, then I'll think about exactly where it is. Okie dokie, Jerry, okie. Before the time of the nav. Oh, you always go on about this. We have to use maps. No one cares. Coronavirus is finished, we are back to normal, which means you need to allow, I don't know, 75% extra time for oh your journey. <laughs> well, I've already on. had, we're not living here anymore, that's it, I don't want it. It's s, isn't it? It is pretty crappy, to be fair. Friday afternoon, and we left at like half three, that's the issue. Half three should be okay, but it's Friday, there was an accident. Yeah, because now everyone drives like idiots. Everyone drives like idiots. Not me, you saw my driving. <laughs> I haven't seen it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to. <laughs> and now we're stuck. If you've ever tried to get out of Kent, you will know that the Darfur crossing is just a completely ridiculous thing. You have to pay a fortune to go through it and it takes about four years to cross. So my advice, do not try and leave Kent unless you're going out of the country. <laughs> oh, but the tunnel from Kent to France works fine. The tunnel from Kent to Essex doesn't work. And guess who owns it? The French. Wow. Words. This is like... <laughs> well, come on. We've been locked down for months and months and months. And as soon as you can go out the house, it's like you can't go anywhere. So Louisa got cob on. I don't know if you've noticed that. Uh, <laughs> she's such an idiot ranting away there. Yeah, so, you know, we should have been at the campsite in probably like half hour, an hour but we're gonna get there at like half seven. Yay! And I'm really hungry. This because you didn't buy yourself any snacks, isn't it? Them strawberries. <laughs> strawberries haven't cut it, have they? <laughs> Trying to be all healthy. <laughs> yeah, they haven't cut it, no. No, so, well, there you go, traffic. That's it, don't, like, we're going like five miles an hour. Don't crash us. So that's going to be as much as what we're going to film tonight, I think, because of what time we're going to get there and stuff like that. So we will see you tomorrow, guys. Say goodbye. Bye.
Right, good morning guys. Uh, so that was yesterday, yeah, the, the traffic was appalling. Uh, but we're here, the site's really nice. Um, we've had some sleep, I'm rested, I was pretty knackered yesterday and grumpy, but there you go. Um, first of all, have a look at this twat. Look at it. Did it ah, lovely. Thinks it's cool. Yeah. Uh, just so you know, it's like 6.30 in the morning, maybe? Everybody's on a fitness fitness kick. Um, but anyway, so yeah, yesterday basically got me to thinking. Uh, so if you follow the channel for a while, you probably know uh, our situation. So next week is my last week at work, <laughs> uh, which is exciting, uh, but, you know, it makes you think. Uh, so, yeah, during this whole pandemic, really, we've been like, well, we can't really go anywhere, we can't really do anything, it's too much of a risk, yada, yada, yada. Um, but the way I see it yesterday is I'm going to have to, if we stay here, I'm going to have to get another job straight away because I can't just spend the savings or live off Emily. So I would have to get another job, which means where I live, it's heavily populated. I'm not going to be lucky enough to find the job I currently have. <laughs> um, hold on, let me show you again what she's doing. This is hilarious. What is that? up it um yeah i'm not gonna be lucky enough to find a job like i currently have which is two minutes up the road so the likelihood is i'm gonna be getting in that traffic every single day um i'm gonna be getting in a queue for jobs with like a million and one other people it's just gonna be miserable um emily's in a position where because her job isn't as busy as it would normally be she can work remotely online part-time uh so I'm not working, she's got the option to travel and still work, which means there's a, a safe job here for when we come back for her. Uh, we've got the van, the van's done, we've got the money saved, so we're good to go. And the way I see it is, if I stay here, and we both stay here and work in busy jobs, we're going to be just as much at risk, if not more at risk, because let's be honest, the numbers in the UK are going to go up, than what we would be if we were travelling. So, yeah, I think... I think the, our line of thinking is, fuck it, let's just go. Um, but we'll see. I've checked again with all the insurances. So travel insurance is uh, no good. You're not going to get travel insurance. But every other insurance, pet insurance, van insurance, all the other insurances, breakdown and that are still valid for me. Um, like I say, it could be different for everyone else's insurance. But for us, it's just going to be the, the travel insurance, which is going to be the problem. But there you go. If one of us gets sick... We're lucky enough that we both drive, so the other one could potentially hot foot it back to the UK. Um, but yeah, so that is a consideration. But apart from that, I still think van life in Europe is better than just life in the UK, if I'm honest. So yeah, we'll see. We'll spend this weekend having a, a think about it and figuring out what we're going to do. But that's where we're at in a minute. What's, what's the point in sitting... Yeah, because let's be, it's not going to be three months. This isn't going to be over in three months. This is going to go on. This is going to get worse. This is going to kick right off again over the winter. Even if they got a vaccine by the beginning of next year, they've still got to roll it out. So we could be sitting around here for another two years in the UK, which, let's be honest, if Europe's numbers are going up, our numbers are about to go up, and it's probably going to be ten times worse. And you look at the way people are acting, they're just twats. So, yeah, that's where we're at. But for now, for now... Emily's going to uh, finish her exercise and then we're probably going to get up. It's very, very windy, so I don't know how much we're going to be able to show you of where we are, but I'm sure Emily will do you a little tour of the campsite. So guys, it's Saturday. Lou is finally out of her mood. Thank God. Uh, we've just come down to Southwold. South, it is Southwold, isn't it? Yeah, Southwold. Southwold. Um, down to the seafront, have a look through a few shops and get the Ajaxy Rooney into the sea. And some chips. Oh yeah, oh, obviously chips, yeah. So we're just gonna go down onto the beach, play with the balls. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we probably won't film too much, it's extremely uh, windy. Yeah, too windy. A um, little bit warm as well actually, it's deceiving isn't it? Yeah, so yeah, but we'll give you some action shots of AJ and probably Maple as well, because Maple's here. Just wait. Mm, wait 
for better days to come and carry us like wind in our sails. Hold on tight, I can smell the shore, it's right in front of us if we just hold on tight. This vision that I saw is getting closer every dawn. on the uh, campsite tonight um, a couple of people trying to put up a tent in the wind is just ridiculous but I'm gonna show you anyway we're all helping <laughs> don't blow away Lou I best put this camera away now and actually go and help because it is really windy so <laughs> poor guys <laughs> I'm not as tall as you. You're going to have to jump. If you just jump, that's it. If you just do that as we go along. <laughs> I keep going. Right, good morning, guys. Um, so it's Sunday. Oh, Sunday. We have to go home. Yeah, so we've got to go home. Uh, but we're just having a little walk around the, the cornfields. I don't know if Emily mentioned them in a two-minute tour. I did. Yeah. I, in fact, I haven't shown you our two-minute tour yet. Ah. Oh. Oh. Here's Emily's two-minute tour <laughs> of where we're staying. Emily's two-minute tour. Morning guys, it's that time again, it's Emily's two minute tours um, and this weekend we've stayed at Brick Kiln Farm so let's go and have a look and I reckon I so get this in two minutes a day because it's a, a smaller site and stuff, oh dodge the apples um, but let me flip you around and show you oh bloody camera right yeah so camping area, camping area, camping area lovely camping area um, and then just down in here just in this little hut here is your check-in so and you have like your own little clipboard that you have to fill your stuff in and things like that and then up here is where you put like what pitch you want and they have an honesty box and you can buy like certain things and you just then put it all onto like your little clipboard and pat at the end so that's quite nice and then we'll run over to the uh, to the toilets they're only here as well uh, I don't know if I can show you because obviously people are in there and stuff but have whole lovely little things like this in here showers uh, in here is your wash up area you've got a freezer that you can use and then in here is your sort of like seating area and stuff like that so oh, I'm trying to get it done in two minutes and then we'll go over to our pitch AJ's waiting for me um, I just want to say that the campsite was £50 for two nights it's adults only but dog friendly obviously because AJ's here yeah so let's go I can't turn you around, I'm so useless at this. But yeah, so this is our pitch. It's really nice size. And they do have these little fire pits as well, which is quite cool. We had a fire last night with Mac has a maple as well. So that was nice. Um, you can you can only use the fire that you kind of like buy on site, the firewood, not fire, firewood. They have just put in like a cesspits thing so you can empty like your toilet waste and stuff like that in as well. Um, but it's not like fully set up, so you just have to use a walking can and put it down and stuff. But yeah, so it's in Suffolk. You can't really walk anywhere from it. You do have to kind of drive. That's why we drove out yesterday. But with some cornfields around that you can sort of like walk and take AJ or your own dog, you know, uh, around and stuff like that. So, but yeah, um, from us, it's a thumbs up and we'll definitely come back here because it's a really nice site. The owners are lovely. Facilities are really good and just wish it wasn't so windy. But I don't want to go back to work and be an adult. I'm sick of adulting now. I've had enough. <laughs> As you can tell by the two minute tour. Um, <laughs> so, too much. Yeah, we're just going to take AJ for a quick walk around these cornfields. These are literally accessed from the site, so they're literally right there. This is the cornfields here. This is where we're going to find Louise's dead body in a few years to come, where she's accidentally 
fallen down and broken her neck. We've put it on YouTube now. So <laughs> have to bury me somewhere else, I'm afraid. Um, Any suggestions, guys? But no, it's great if you've got a dog or you like walking, you know, you just want to stroll off. This is pretty cool, so we'll show you what it is and then. The yeah. corns look pretty funky. They're like little people with like hairs on their head. Okay guys, so that is pretty much all we filmed for the last uh, couple of weeks. We're now back home, which is crap. Um, but yeah, we had uh, a full week off and then we didn't film too much last week, so that's pretty much what we've been up to. Um, I should say why we wasn't filming, we went to the South... South Central South Build meetup. Yeah, South Central Self Build Get Together that's is the it, Facebook yeah. group. We had a wicked time, it was really, really good. Um, there was about 60 vans there, weren't there? Yeah. Uh, met some really cool people, met some of our subscribers, which was strange wasn't it but really good um so yeah we made some new friends there didn't we oh yeah it was really good as well and um for me i'm really nosy so going around looking in everyone's vans i loved it yeah it if great. you're thinking about doing a build or mid build or even if you're finished it's a really really good meet up um i'll leave the link to the facebook group in the the video description but like i say we didn't film anything there i wish we had it done really but yeah i did i i did say that we needed to but this one was being so lazy and got drunk both nights so <laughs> and it rain. it did rain it rained yeah. quite a bit but no. yeah definitely join that group if you're thinking of or building a van yeah because they are really super helpful um and you can ask any questions or anything like that and Loads of people just answer back, so it's a really good group. Oh, 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 exciting. So we've got these two stickers. <laughs> Only two. <laughs> I'm getting there quick if you want one. You're such a... Oh, honestly, there are some choice words I could use for you right now. We've got these two types of stickers. Ooh, fancy pants. <laughs> We have got more than two, so if you would like to support us and purchase them, they are £5 for the pair. Um, we've got a PayPal account, which we will put the link below. So if you do want them, then just send us £5 with the reference of your name, and then email that email address, which is campervibe6 at gmail.com, with your full address, and I will send them out to you. Yes. And I know £5 sounds a lot, but that literally just about covers the cost of printing and postage. And we're going to make like a few pence on each one. But bear in mind, this is now my only source of income. So, thanks guys. I'm redundant, aren't I? <laughs> Two P a sticker you get. <laughs> Actually, you'll get half a P and you can build it up and I'll get one, one and a half P. Why do you get one and a half? Because I'm the boss. Okay, so with regards, I think the title of this video is like us thinking about whether we're going to go yet. So is it time to go? And the answer is, honestly, we still don't really know, do we? Uh, it's just something that we've been going back and forth, back and forth, pros, cons, writing a list, speaking to loads of people and going to these meetups has been really good as well because you get everyone's different opinions and stuff. But yeah, it's... Yeah, it's just something that we've just... Yeah, we've spoke to, I've spoke to a few people online who are out there at the moment and the numbers are going up in Europe, it's just, so yeah, we, <clears> we honestly don't know, but we are seriously considering it, aren't we, so... Yeah, it's, um, we're more going than not going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you probably know as much as we do whether we're going or not, but that's about yeah. it, isn't it, really? But if we go, you'll be coming along. Yeah, you'll be coming. Um, and also, there's uh, a guy I just want to say a quick word to because he's a bit of a champion, really. So, Mark, 14 years married to Sonia, mate. Well done. Deserves a medal, that, I think. Um, I think Sonia <laughs> deserves a medal, if I'm honest. Um, so, Mark and Sonia, it's their 14th wedding anniversary next week. Uh, so, congratulations, guys. Keeping a good marriage together is hard work. Yeah, trust me, we know exactly how you feel. So to get to 14 years married, like, yeah, well you've done, done yeah, brilliantly. Um, and if you can manage that, Mark, your van build's going to be piss easy, mate. So, so well done. What about poor Sonia? She has to put up with him. No, Sonia can't do the DIY with Mark. Mark, no. No? No. No. He said he's better off doing it on his own. 
which I understand. Anyway. Sonia, don't worry, like, we're the clean-up crew, we're the ones that have to make the tea, the coffee, run the household, you know, I'm with you. Well done, guys, anyway. Not yeah. well done, it's congratulations. Yeah, congratulations, <laughs> guys, on 14 years, um, and that is about it, up, it from us this week, isn't it? Yes. Uh, so, yeah, now I'm back off work, the video should get a little bit better, a bit more informative, a bit more interesting. Um, but if you did find this one interesting, please do consider hitting the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. Ding the bell. Um... um. <laughs> and we will see you next week. Bye. Bye. Yeah, so um, basically, I need to stop because I don't know. What I'm doing. Oh, for fuck's sake, you are useless. <laughs> oh, I can't do this with you. I'm going to set up my own channel that's just me. That's not nice, is it? I've set up my own channel. Go on then. I will. Yeah, Alright then. We'll see who team, who team wins. Well, you're still on no video, so. <laughs> So it'll be useless, wouldn't it? No. Right.